So this is the bag sort video for the second bag of the A row English paper piecing kit. So I'm gonna get my book out and we are up to A7 on here. So first things first, we're gonna dump out our bag and see what kind of pieces we have. The A7 block looks very straightforward. Here is the other four and a half inch square that is for A7. So, okay, there's a couple ways to do A7, but let me get my, the football pieces should be quite easy to find since they're so huge. Uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, and just for good measure, I'm gonna make sure that they're all the same size, just because I'm paranoid like that. So, yep, yeah, they are all the same size. Now, a couple different ways you can approach this. This is an applique block. So you're gonna have this with applique on it. You can take this, put focus fabric on it, take these, have them be background fabric and have a focus fabric with background footballs. Or you can make it like this. And I've seen it done both ways. I think there's another block on the quilt somewhere that is um, like that, but I but it doesn't matter that much because these are not these squares are not on here. What I did on my first quilt is I took this and I cut it in quarters, and so then I had four squares of equal size. I made two with focus fabric backgrounds and two with background fabric backgrounds and then two footballs with focus fabric and two footballs and I made this. So what I really did is I took each square and I put the opposing fabric football on it, appliqued that on there and then onto the quarter and then assembled all four quarters. So I will most likely be doing that again in this situation but I will make a note of it right now so that I'm not gonna worry about this right now because I don't have any of that kind of material out and I try to keep one segment of material out at the same time. So I'm gonna make a note on here, cut in quarters, because I'm choosing to do that. If you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. And then um, cut in quarters. And I'm not gonna put a focus fabric or background fabric notation on here but I am gonna put a seven. And I do the European seven because sometimes it looks different to me if it's backwards or, but whatever works for you. And I'm gonna put two focus fabric dots on here just because. But when it comes to a seven, I'm gonna open my book and go, oh yeah, that's right. This has to be done with that weird technique but for now, I'm just making sure that I've got the right pieces in the right baggie labeled with the appropriate label. So now I'm gonna go on to A8. All right, so the next one is A8. And so we've got um, rectangle pieces and some triangles. Looks like a couple different sizes, but we'll see about that. That's obviously too big. So I will sort these as I go out here. This seems to be this so I will be able to then find the right size for the triangles all right so there's lots of funky shaped pieces in this bag but I did manage to find four triangles that fit the corners and four triangles that fit the middles and I'm gonna mark these so that I can tell the difference when they're in the bag, just in case I have some kind of a fabric color selections to make. So these go on the corners and the other ones go in the centers. So now I'm gonna label my pieces uh, with the A8 block number. And now I'm gonna mark for my focus fabric, which is all of the outer triangles. 
So I just put labels on these. And then I have to distinguish between my side triangles and my corner triangles so that when I go to block prep, I have those appropriately distinguished. And in this case, I'm going to label these triangle A. And the corners are going to be triangle Bs. And the trick then is to transpose those notations to your book so that when you go to assemble, you know what the heck you meant by A's and B's. So I got B's here, A here, and so on and so forth. So I will bag this up and move on to the next page. Okay, so now I'm up to A9. A9 has a lot of pieces. Um, you've got these little rectangles and there's a little square in the middle and all these little triangles. So this, just be patient when looking for these pieces and this will give you a chance to sort out some of your other pieces too. So I'm gonna take my little triangles. So there's, those are the same size. So there's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these little triangles these should be, these are going to be bigger. These are going to be between the two. So I'm just going to start sifting through things and finding my pieces. So I've sorted a bunch of pieces out and I have found two squares that fit in the middle. So I'm going to just put one of them in there. They seem to be the same size. And then I've got eight little tiny triangles that I found. that I will put around here. And so I'm gonna assemble this from the middle out, as it seems to be the thing to do. That's how I'm gonna assemble it when I actually go to stitch it together too. So now I've got all my A9 pieces. And yes, they're very, very tiny, and this is why I have a very, very tiny Sharpie. But I'm going to carefully label all of the little pieces without moving them around too much. So now I've got all my little pieces labeled and it's a matter of marking my focus fabric. So I'm gonna look at this picture. So all the little, the square in the center is background, but all the little triangles around it are focus fabric. And the little trapezoids are not and then the triangles in the next layer are focus fabric. And the little rectangles, little stripe strips are not. And then these are. And then those are. These are. So it makes this look like one big triangle here. We're going to make that focus fabric as well. And then these in the center of the arrow pieces. And these in the corners are focus fabric. So we're going to double check this. So we got the corner pieces that point into the middle. And then the triangles on the outside edge. And then you have from the in this section, you've got these two, these two, these two, and these two. And then the triangles on the center section of the little tiny bits. Alrighty, so that's that. And I will bag this up. Don't forget to label directions if you have them. Um, from a size standpoint, these are the there's three sizes of triangles in here, and I don't think it's gonna be an issue with. Uh, telling them apart when I get to block block assembly So I'm not gonna label them But we'll see if that's the right move when I go to block assembly So next is a 10 a 10 has some funky pieces in it You've got these Weird looking things that go on the outside edges <clears throat> So that's the outside edge, which I think I'm probably going to put on last, which would make sense. All right, so we got those. Let's stick these up here. 
All right. And then you've got triangles that have a curved bottom here. So this is a curve. And there should be four of these. Two, three, four over here. And then these have also have a curved edge on them, which are right here. And then it's a matter of finding the right size square, which I think is just this one. I think it's the only one that's in there. And then there's only one football in this whole thing, and that's the football that gets applicated over the top. So I've got all my pieces in place, and it's time to label them A10. Now I need to label my focus fabrics. So this is my little football in the middle, which is a background. The square that it goes on is focus fabric, and the triangles are focus fabric. And that's it. The rest of it's background. So bagging that up and moving on to the next page. Next block is A11. I've got a bunch of notes on here when I went to assemble it on my first quilt. Um, but this is a modified block, so we are going to uh, sort the bag pieces out from the booklet because it doesn't have this border around it. And we can go over the block assembly issues on the block assembly video. So um, you got all these little squares, and then you've got these little long triangle pieces here right here so those there and so it's just a matter of getting these into their home so now I need to find the middle square here and the trick to finding the middle square is the triangle surrounding it so there is the triangle here has to be the right size to the square like that however there is one that is slightly smaller, and if you line it up on one end, you see that there's a little jagged jump. So don't use that one, that's for something else. So the rest of these seem to be the same size as the, as the others, so use one of those. I'll use this one, because the other four are for the outside corners. So I will continue to get this sorted. So I got all my A11 pieces laid out and I am going to label them as before. So I got all my pieces labeled and then I'm going to move this so I can see the picture for my focus fabric. So I've got the center square and the triangles surrounding it and I got a little illegible with some of my A11s and then these squares in the corners our focus fabrics and then the big squares on the outside are focus fabrics and that seems to be it so let's double check middle triangles corner squares and corner squares all right I will be bagging that up so the next black a12 is also modified in the book so we were going we will go to that booklet and work from there and so we have these other ones that didn't fit for A9 are for A12. So I got these, and then there's another set of those, set of four of the smaller ones. We're going to work from the center out like we did for A9 and go from there. So I got all my A12 pieces laid out and time to label. So now it's time to label the focus fabrics and here's my picture. So I've got the triangles that surround the center square, our focus fabrics, and then the triangles that point from that as well. And I missed one. I missed labeling one right here. And then a red dot and then That means that these are also focus fabrics. These little, and I missed that one too. 
a 12 and dot. So I have those and those. And see, some of these pieces are not there. So, because they've taken them out for English paper pieces reasons. So we're just going to do that one and that one and that one and that one. And then these four on the outside. So I'm going to bag that up and go to the last block of this bag. So A13 is my last block. For some reason I wrote that it was modified. It's not. And you just take all the rest of these pieces and place them in their spots. Now to label the A13. And now to label the focus fabrics. Now you do have a couple options on this one. The um, book here, you got the pieces that match the book exactly, but in the book here you've got these little points um, and if you wanted to cut off, cut these pieces here where they come to a point and make that a different color, you're definitely welcome to do that in order to emulate this picture. But the diagram of the block is got the paper pieces for that. So that's up to you in case you're wondering why the points are not a different color. It's because it's one piece. So you're, you're definitely welcome to do that if you would like to. And I'm going to bag this up. Now we are done with the A-Row bag sorts. Thank you.